Get into it. I'm so hungry. I need to eat. How's this? Feel better? I'm gonna die. I'm starving. I'm so hungry. Give me something to eat. I need to feed. Now. According to the Maxim Gilbert law, you must first label one tip of a fragment or fragments from one or two chains of DNA as PI phosphoric acid. Next, we sever one DNA chain at a special location of the base. Or you can do this with two bases of DNA. And using this method, the severed P element is separated again by the radiation charged DNA chain through polyacrylic electrolysis. Uh, then all we have to do is compare this through the auto radiograph, and then we see the pattern of movement and are able to determine the alignment of bases. Hmm. Well, so, based upon the use of Maxim Gilbert's law, the arrangement of protein bases becomes clear and evident. So, moving right along, and that'll be all for today. Bye. Gaia. Have a look at this. I think you'll find it pretty interesting. Here, I've got those test results back. It's that Korean ginger root again. They analyzed its B-class. Uh, later, Kamada. Right now, we've got more important work to do. My friend Kamada and I are professors of molecular biology, but we've also got another more specialized line of work. We offer the kind of service you don't find in any phone book. That's not to say what we do is illegal. Some of our employers, on the other hand, I can't answer for, so I never do. As far as I'm concerned, that's none of our business. Professor, you must help my daughter. I beg you. We'll help her, don't worry. Thank you. always the same pattern. Kamada gets very emotional. We haven't even seen the patient, haven't made a diagnosis, but that's the way he gets whenever he's near them. virus. It seems to have almost full control.
Hang in there, Mary. You have got to stay strong. Circumstances can't help it. see what I'm talking about when I refer to them. As a professor of molecular biology, I try to approach the situation from a scientific perspective. Our name for these things is the demon virus. Inside the virus is something called a retrovirus. It buries itself deep in the genes of animals and human beings and then controls the genetic structure from within. For the moment, let's forget Darwin's theory that the evolution of any species requires hundreds of thousands of years and assume that this virus could bring about a sudden drastic change. Think about it. Vampires could be real. Ghosts and monsters, not the product of superstition, but caused by an evolution of this virus. Fact is, it's very hard for me to remain scientific about this virus, and none of my colleagues would believe me, except one, my friend Kamada. And that's because he's been infected by it. Want ketchup? Very funny. It's not me eating the food, it's that damn thing inside me. An unusual consumption of protein and iron. Classic symptoms of a person that's been infected. <sighs> Don't look at me like that. I'm not a guinea pig. Can't help it. You are now a vital scientific specimen. That virus has found a home inside of you. You have an exceptional immune system that is capable of controlling the spread of the virus and possibly your physical transformations. Face it, if we're going to exterminate this virus, our only hope is you. If you're right, we better do something about it because I'm having trouble controlling it. It's really starting to get to me. We'll get there. And if we don't, what then? What if this thing just decides to eat me alive? Hey, I'm sure you taste like crap. <sighs> My friend was right. We were running out of time. And to make matters worse, we biohunters were about to face a new problem. late, huh? Looking good. Our client should be completely delighted with that. Thanks. It's just about finished, but still needs a little cleaning up. You're a real perfectionist, thank God. Uh, I'll see you in the morning. Don't work too hard now. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow.
Huh. This is the fourth death during this month alone. What do you think? My friend, I think you know what I think. I think it's not your usual weirdo pervert. Bodies eaten? I think it's gotta be them. Unfortunately, I can't say I disagree. You certainly are dressed up. You got a date? No date. Just been invited to a student party, that's all. Oh, any particular student? Hey, I'm not like you. I don't get involved with my students. Oh. I'm professional when I date my students. Koshigaya, hmm? With my body, the way it is, how could I ever have a girlfriend? It's up to you, man. Do you really think of yourself as a human being? You think of yourself as a monster. We're looking for a girl, you seen her? Girl? Uh... Start talking, man! Uh, I haven't seen anything. See the girl. Yes or no? You're going to answer me now. <laughs> hey, you, what's going on there? Are you okay? Do you need help? No, um... No! It's nothing. Everything's okay. Everything's fine, really. All right, then. Good night. Thanks. Sorry to have bothered you. Sure. I'm glad I could help you. Maybe I could walk you home? No, thanks. They're gonna come after me again. Well, then, why don't you tell the police? I can't do that. No way. I have to go. I know it sounds strange, but you must leave me alone. Excuse me. Come back! Looks to me like you got yourself a date. Listen to me. All I know is after I talked to her, I had a reaction. You think she's infected with the demon virus? No. I'm sure she isn't, but I know she has to be involved with it in some way. It's just how is the question? Hmm. Okay, let me get this straight. You say your name is Murakami. You say your grandfather disappeared and that he was in some kind of trouble, the kind of thing he couldn't go to the police about, and that after he disappeared, that's when these guys started hassling you. They wanted to know where he is. They're going to hurt you if you don't tell them, but... You don't know where he is. Have I got that right? So tell me something. Your grandfather, what's he do? He's a fortune teller. Fortune teller? Murakami? He's not Bokuto Murakami, is he? Yes, he is. What do you mean? Do you know him? Of course. Where have you been, man? Bokuto Murakami is a really famous psychic. 
not just in Japan, but people come from around the world to have them tell their fortunes. So, you're really the granddaughter of Bokuto Murakami. Yes. My name is Sayaka. Sayaka, is there something else? Well, there is one thing that has been bothering me. Of course, I could be wrong about it, I don't know. You could be right, tell us. There was a newspaper article that caught my grandfather's eye the day before he disappeared. It really got to him, he acted so strangely. What was the article about? A girl who was found murdered. About that string of murders, actually. <gasps> Followed her. Kamada, this is serious. Contact the university and tell them I want my lecture schedule canceled for the next week. From the Takanaka Group 12, from the Kawashima Group 7 or 8 for sure. You know what deal I want to hear about. Yes, if we could hold off just a while longer. Uh, no! Give them another hundred million, then they'll move. I understand, sir. And where is Bokudo? Nothing yet. How long do you intend to keep me waiting? Please, forgive me, sir. Next client, please. Answer me, yes or no. At one time, you were a student at the home of Bokudo Murakami, right? What are you talking about? We know you've been there. Just answer, yes or no. And you know where he is right now, don't you? So he literally washes himself to clean his soul. Yeah. It's weird. He reads the fortunes of so many people that he feels their dirt has penetrated his body. To wash off all their troubles from his body, he uses the waterfalls. The waterfalls? Yes, the waterfalls are the only place that I can think he would be now. The waterfalls. Which waterfalls? There are waterfalls everywhere. And that's why we have to keep looking? Because we don't have a psychic fortune teller in the car who can tell us where to go, okay? Do you think a psychic would help? I don't know. Just have to find Sayaka's grandfather to find out. You don't have much faith in fortune telling, do you? No. No, I guess not. But don't you think there's a whole world science can't explain? There's so much that science can't explain. When you think about all the mysteries that can't be solved out there, the universe or the workings of the human brain, and the greatest mystery of all, the mystery of the heart of a woman. Right, Kamada? I think that's your area of specialized research. Hey, if you're a man, you're a student of that subject. For humanity's sake. I leave the future of the human race in your hands, Koshigaya. <laughs> The day ended with no trace of Bokuto Murakami bathing in his waterfall. But what we did find was a spot where we could bathe and unwind. Mmm, this makes me feel alive. Huh? Huh? Whoa.
Hey, in case you're wondering, she's not a student. Come on, give me a break. Come on, uh, you're a human being after all. as 22-year-old Hiromi Ishida. Though a coroner's report determined similarities to the recent murders, police refused to comment on a possible serial killer. And in other... Not again. Go to hell. Here's your ticket. Those are the guys, man. Those are the same guys from the alley. Huh? Find him now. We'll clean up. Every second counts. Now go. Komara! What am I, Koshigaya? Because I'm not a human being. Glad to see that you're all right. Please forgive me. <clears throat> I didn't mean for you to get involved. It's all my fault. Hey, it's not your fault. Now, we've really got to get moving. Those guys are going to be coming after us. We have to find another car somewhere. No, I'll do it alone. Huh? I don't want to expose either of you to any more danger. It was stupid of me to allow you to get involved. You've already done enough for me. Hey, come on now. What do you think you're going to do? You can't handle this thing alone. I can do it alone. I can. Listen, Sayaka, don't you worry about us. We may look useless, but we're really pretty dependable guys when it comes down to it. Especially Kamada here. <laughs> right? Yeah, sure. Together we're going to find him. What is it, Sayaka? 
Don't you hear it? Looks like a temple. Sayaka, I've been waiting for you. Just cooked and ready to be eaten. And got enough for you, too. He wasn't surprised at all. It's like he knew we were coming. Of course. He is the original psychic. Not Chief Secretary of the Liberal Republican Party. That's right. Masajiro Tebe. It's his thugs who are chasing me. <laughs> Why are they pursuing me, you want to know? I will explain it for you. Throughout history, men in power have always been curious about the future. There was once a prime minister who used cards to predict his fate. There was even a president who used an astrologer. Masajiro Tabe was very curious about his future, so six months ago I was invited to his home to read his future. I saw something inside him, a bad omen. I told him what I had seen. I gave him some herbal medicine and told him to take care of his health. But then, ten days later, Tabe's thugs paid me a visit. Of course, their purpose was to make sure I kept my mouth shut. I sensed they would be coming for me, so I slipped away and came here. The temple keeper and I go way back. He lets me stay. He allows me to use the waterfalls to wash off and to purify myself. I don't think they'll find me here. Tell me, what was that bad omen you saw inside of Masaji Rotabe? Ah, uh, well, you've already come this far, so I may as well go ahead and tell you. I predicted his lifespan would end within a month. Ah, well, if your reading was true, that would mean he'd already be dead. So why would they want to kill you if you were wrong? Uh. Kamada, you interest me. There's something about you, something about your aura. Huh? You look human, but you're not human. Like an animal, but not an animal. Strange. Hmm. Bokuda-san, what we want to know is... Uh... It's better you don't know. If you were to find out, you'd be in great danger. Masaja Rotave is a powerful man who is expected to be the next prime minister. You know, he completely controls the police force. As things stand now, I'm thinking of fleeing the country. Aha! Sayaka! Didn't you say you wanted to move to Paris? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, anyway, I've caused enough grief, haven't I? Don't you agree? Don't you? Listen, man. Bokuto isn't just another psychic phony. I mean, he's got you figured out. You think so, huh? So you're saying he knows what's inside me? Oh, yeah. All he has to do is touch part of your body, hold his hand over your head, and detect those hereditary genes. The guy's a genius. Oh, yeah, he knows. Hear what I'm saying? It was like a cash register reads a barcode. Really scary. I know what you're saying. He's really amazing. If we could do what he can, as scientists, if we could take a person's DNA and psychically decipher it, not only could we know his medical background and physical characteristics, but we could even know his lifespan. What I'm saying is a man's future is decided by his physical biorhythms, Kamada. So, Bokudo knows everything we'll do, does he? <laughs> hmm. 
Yeah, well, if he's not a phony, why hasn't he told us anything that's going to happen? Kamada, he knew we were coming. He had food for all three of us. He must have read that in Sayaka's future way before he went into hiding. He knew we were coming and he sat and waited for us till we got here. And he knows where we're going, too, I'm sure of that. Yeah? But everything changed after he sensed what was inside you. Yeah, why? That I can't answer. Is that right? Well, go ahead. Hurt him. That's up to you. Okay. Sir, we found him. We know where he is. We'll go in tonight. Uh, sir, is there anything I can do to help? It's nothing. But, sir... Quiet! Just keep this car moving! Oh, thank you, Sayaka. Please try to forgive my grandfather. I know he's made some kind of rude remarks about you. Oh, no. All that stuff about you're human, not human. He's old, and he's always been silly. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of grandfather, we have decided to go live in Europe for a while, just temporarily. I'm glad to hear that. I think it's a good idea, and you'll be safer there. Truth is, well, I really was hoping to spend some more time with you, Kamada. <laughs> Maybe we'll meet again. Say good night. Uh, good night, Sayaka. I'm in trouble. I'm losing control. I'm losing the battle. Hey, Pokido. You probably haven't read any newspapers lately, have you? So, you probably don't know anything about any serial killer? No, of course not. No, you don't know anything about that. Don't know anything about any murders committed by something not human. Of course, you don't know anything about a demon virus. So you haven't been waiting for us to show up and help you, and you don't know what we do. Ever heard of a bio-hunter? Answer me! Calm down. Ever heard the term devil possessed? Devil possessed? Devil possessed. The spirit of the devil inhabits a dead man. And when a man is devil possessed, he doesn't know he is dead. He must kill young women and devour them. Their live liver is the only thing that can prevent him from rotting. What are you saying? I can't believe this. You're saying Masajir Otabe is a serial killer? Correct. And this is the man who is about to become Prime Minister. A tortured ghost who feeds on the living. He must be destroyed. And I had hoped that you could help. You're right. I had been waiting for you to show up. But then, I discovered I had made an error in judgment. You and your friend are not capable of killing this demon. Why not? Because your friend is still human. 
Only an individual who is fully possessed by an evil spirit can eliminate another evil spirit. And your friend still possesses his human heart. Bokuto? Koshikaya! It's all right, Kamada. You're okay. The ocean. That's where they are. Hey, hey! Lie down. What are you talking about? I feel great. Now, what do you say we get out of here? We've got work to do. told I can't win because I'm half human. Yeah. Well, I'm worried. Transform now and you may not be able to return to human form. I know. Let's just hope Sayaka is all right.
Your face is looking just a little pale. Are you sure you're all right, sir? Step outside. I want to talk to him in private. Sir? You heard me. Wait outside! Yes, sir. Excuse me, sir. We meet again, Bokudo. Those eyes, sure enough, those are the eyes of a dead man. So, how does it feel to be dead? Tell me, Bokudo. Tell me what is going on inside my body. The nutrients you gave me, that medicine, the medication for my body. What was that? What was it? I could see inside you. I was able to detect the curse that has made you what you have become now. No, I don't believe it. The medicine was powerful. It could have dried up the seeds of evil that had found a home in you. But you love power. You love authority. You never gave the medicine a chance. Yes, the truth hurts, doesn't it? Shut up! This is nonsense! I won't listen! If you'd have let it work, could have become human. But now it's too late. You're just another victim. You stupid old man! You are no longer Masajuru Tabeth. No longer a human being, but a grotesque monster feeding on the innocent. Bakuda! <sighs>
I feel it. It's here. moment Kamada was neither dead nor alive. He drifted in a world of departed souls, souls who were killed by the demon virus. He saw what they saw, felt what they felt, and suffered the agony of their death.
My friend had regained control. He had avoided the world of pure evil and the realm of the dead. He was strong, and I knew why he had survived. We have battles to fight. The demon virus is here to conquer our world, and we aren't about to let it win. We are the Biohunters. <laughs> 